Hi guys, I'm Miro. On this part we are going to take a quick look at all buttons in WPF. Buttons are one of the base elements of WPF. There are five different button types. All buttons can fire the click event or invoke delegate if you use the command pattern. For now we are good to go with the click event and we will take a look at the command pattern in the advanced concepts module. Let's break down these five button types. Regular button, this is a commonly used type. Nothing special, you just specify your content and can fire a click event. Toggle button has two values which are stored in the is checked attribute. Additionally, there are two more events, checked and unchecked. We will take a look at this one more time in the Visual Studio. Next is the repeat button. This button behaves in the same way like the regular button, except for the click event behavior. If you click and hold your left mouse on the regular button, the click event will be fired only one time. And on the repeat button will be the click event fired in regular intervals so long as you hold the mouse left click. You can adjust these repeat intervals with the delay and interval attribute. A radio button inherits from the toggle button. The difference is that you can build a group of these buttons and only one of them can be checked. And the last is checkbox. This element inherits from toggle button as well and checkbox can have two or three values. This depends on the isFreeState attribute. The default value of this attribute is false. Ok, that's it. Let's switch to the Visual Studio. Don't forget that all these exercises are available on my GitHub account. Let's take a look at the UI. Run the application with a 5 and there are all the elements. The button can fire the click event, a toggle button can fire the checked event followed by the clicked event and then the unchecked event followed by the clicked event as well. To demonstrate the repeat button I have built this simple control with just add and subtract this number. So just click and hold and you can see what will happen. The click event is fired in a loop. Then here are two groups of radio buttons. As you can see it is possible to select only one for each group at once. And the last is the two states checkbox and three states checkbox. Ok, let's take a look at the XAML code. So here is the button with the click button event, the toggle button with clicked event, check event and unchecked event, stack panel with all radio buttons, the first group and the second group, check boxes with is free state attribute false and true and here is the repeat button control. You can switch easily to code behind with F7 and here you can see the implementation of our events. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video don't forget to share it on your social media, leave a comment if you have anything to say and see you in the next video.